I want you to build your life on something real. I don't want you to build your life on money. That's a wrong pattern. I don't want you to build your life on people. That's a wrong pattern. I don't want you to build your life on what uncle said. Don't build your life on the expectation of one father's inheritance there. No. You can build your life and sit down and rejoice. And say, Lord, I know that my life is great. And people will ask you, where is the evidence? And he said, the evidence is God and the integrity that is behind his patterns. But I know whom I have believed. Hmm. But I know whom I have believed. Listen, hold on. Hold on with this. My brothers and my sisters, come. 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 You begin a journey. Come, gentlemen. We all begin a journey in this big stage called life. And everybody starts working based on whatever he thinks is his security. For this gentleman, it may be his eloquence. For this person, it may be a charm that they gave him in the village before he left. To another person, it may be his education. But to someone somewhere, he says, I know whom I have believed. My father was nothing. My mother was nothing. Lord, I may not have much, but I believe in you. I believe in your patterns. And the green light says, go, move slowly guys. We all begin to walk. And the difference begins to show. The pride of the uncle keeps this one in one position. And is regretting and explaining while the rest keep moving. The charm fills this one. And he stops somewhere at age 31 never to rise again. And another person begins to go. His education takes him so far. And he makes quite appreciable progress. Except for the wickedness of his superiors. They peg him at a position. But the people that do know their God. Just because you started like the rest does not mean you are like them. Hear what I'm telling you. I am giving you something you will be grateful for. Something you will not need to change after decades of your life. It is painful to trust in something and have to adjust it later. Because you found out it didn't work. Why settle for mundane things while you can settle for something that works? Just because you have one small car or one small house or one small, those things are nonsense. That's not where your strength lies. Men will promise you and say, I will be there for you. They will be the first to stab you and throw you away. Tonight is a call. God is not only the God of heaven. He is the God of patterns. And the rain came. The rain stopped this one. The storm stopped this one. The wickedness of men stopped number three. But the house that was built on the rock, from Zaria to the ends of the earth, from your village to the corridors of power, from your small room to a palace of royalty, from a small corner behind that place to a stadium healing the sick and lifting wheelchairs. And they say, how did you get here? The God of patterns. I followed a pattern. I stood at the threshold of destiny and I said, people have failed. And God told me to ask. And as I kept looking, I saw an old path with grasses all over there. And the Holy Spirit told me, this is the road the ancient followed. And they said, although it looks dusty, follow it. We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. And you follow the path. For a while, your life may look strange. Because the pride and the foolishness of men will not allow them to see the wisdom of God. It is only when God opens your eyes to see the road. Some may trust in horses and they may trust in chariots. They trust in connections, etc., etc. And let me tell you, one by one, by one, by one, the elements and the forces of life will beat down the arrogance of men. The job your uncle will give you. Sadly, as you were graduating, he died. He's not a bad man. He only died. But when you lift up your certificate, you lift up your gift, and you say, Lord, I'm the only one in my family. I'm the only one in my family.